Some of you asked why a Tesla coil optimized for wireless energy transmission is different than one designed for arcs. Now there are a lot of reasons for this, but the biggest is that arcs waste energy. My simplest Tesla coil is great at making huge arcs, but it's relatively bad at wirelessly powering stuff. In fact, you actually need to suppress these arcs for higher wireless efficiency, and that means removing pointy surfaces as well as using softer switching in the primary circuit. I'm barely feeding this coil much power here, but since there's no arc to load it down, much more power can be delivered to nearby devices. Pretty cool, right?